The valley is roughly two hours from Hollywood, so spotting stars around town is pretty common. And now it's not just the stars you'll see. Palm Springs is becoming a more desirable location for TV producers and movie directors to set up shop. KMIR's Dahlia Hayden spoke with an expert who tells us why Hollywood is heading east. Well, it all started back in the 1920s when the desert was dubbed Hollywood's playground. But now it's more than just play for the stars. It's actually become a work site. Richard Serafin, who goes by Kip, knows a thing or two about movie and television shoots here in the Valley. What Kip does is find locations for the rich and famous to film movies, TV shows, commercials, and more. So we get clients that come here for photo and also for film that they can do multiple scenes here and pretend like you're in some part of the world. For directors, it's shooting made easy. And he says that's why the demand is growing. One of those recent shoots, a series of commercials for the tanning product, Banana Boat. But dip that fool in some Banana Boat triple defense for men. They wanted to do Banana Boat, obviously for the sun, uh, and they wanted to do the golf course, they wanted to do by a pool. For this scene, Kip found the perfect place to film, a little development on Vista Chino. So all the mucky mucks come in and, the, and crew and producer, one-stop shopping kind of thing. And these shoots mean big bucks for the valley. Kip says renting a location for the day could cost up to 10 grand. Another industry adding to our economy, the reality TV biz. Various production companies are flocking to film here. Real Housewives of Palms Desert is supposed to um, be uh, thinking about filming here. And speaking of the Real Housewives, we caught up with Rancho Mirage resident Lisa Kunkel, who says a production crew from Bravo came to her house to interview her for the show. While he was interviewing me, he, he kept asking different questions. And my reply was always like, well, I, I really, you know, don't have a lot of drama in my life. I really don't fight with people. Probably so, not the answers they want. No, he, I, I thought he was going to start yawning. You know, I mean, I could just see it in his eyes. Needless to say, Kunkel was not cast for the show, but says the audition experience was fun and she'll probably end up making an appearance on the show anyway. Two of the people who are being considered, I'm um, very close with, and so I'm, I would be their sidekick. <laughs> I like, um, pat their back while they're crying. <laughs> so for those aspiring stars in the desert, filming around town could mean more opportunity for camera time. They're like, well, we might call you and say we need to film right now. And these discreet productions take place in locations you'd never expect, like this hotel designed by the famous John Lautner, which is tucked away in Desert Hot Springs. But this commercial shoot for River Island, which recently aired worldwide, was filmed right here at Hotel Lautner. So when it comes to Hollywood in the desert, Kip says the best is yet to come. More Hollywood. And actually, believe it or not, there's a lot of actors and actresses moving out to the desert and buying homes here and commuting into um, L.A. for two or three days. And here we're close enough to Hollywood that we can be, you know, Hollywood East. And be sure to keep an eye out for a new movie set to be released later this year called Palm Swings. It was shot at the Skylark Hotel. Tia Carrera is the leading lady there. It's just one of many big productions taking place right in our backyard. And as for the Real Housewives of Palm Springs, Bravo is being tight-lipped as to whether they've finished casting or when we can expect to see them start shooting. Dahlia Hayden, KMIR News.